Today's broadcast is a big one. It's about a game that a lot of people do like. A lot. Hello, my babies. This is Rabbi Kuro, and we're going to do another video of the Institute of Lost Ark Broadcasters. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic based on a game that everybody actually do like a lot, and it is Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, we call it Skyrim actually, and Skyrim is a based on a game based on Bethesda, um, and they played this game in 2011, and year I was in 11th grade in high school, so, and the thing about this game, being or the thing how old it is, is um. 12 years old or 13 years old, you know, um, by what time you are watching this. So like I said, it's actually a very old game, and it, and it, it comes up to, to, the, to a lot of versions throughout the years. The first one is just normal Skyrim, and then it did two DLC versions, or three actually, three DLC. The first DLC was Dawn Dawn, the second DLC was Hot Hellfire, and the third DLC was Dragonborn. Okay. Then they did two editions. Uh, uh, the first one was the Special Edition, and the second one was the Anniversary Edition. Now, the Special Edition was just to it was an upgrade for the new con the next gen of console, the PlayStation 4. The anniversary edition was anniversary being 10 years old. Years old. And that was three years ago or two years ago. And it's kind of weird how that actually works. Uh, yeah. And I think I've actually put it there. So anyway, let me tell you about the story of this game. You know, you do know about it. You do know. So you play as a character, uh, and you are the Dragon Ball. Well, you, it's called um, Silver King, you are the Dragon King. And so here they have us. The game is set 200 years after the event of Oblivion. It takes place in Skyrim, the northernmost planet of Chemio, that's the place you're at, actually. On a current planet, no. The main story focuses on a player on a player character, the Dragonborn. They go on quest to defeat Otherwind, the world eater, a dragon who is populating to destroy the world. So yeah, that's how it works. And so there's different kind of ways how this game you can do. First of all, this game doesn't does not end. It never ends and it keeps going. Alright, now why does it why does it never end? Because the, there are Multiple classes that you can do, you can attend, and that's how they did. Yes, there is a end to it, which is actually the main story. Sorry, same thing with the with the two DLCs. Now that not Hellfire is actually a little different; doesn't have a story yet at all, and. Is what it is, but so the thing about this game is you do these classes, the main classes in the setting. There are some classes based on guilds you get to join, and some classes based on side classes uh, on the side. And that's why it doesn't, it doesn't end actually at all. So, 
and you are able to explore the whole area at San Real, but that's where you when the game takes place. And cutting. When you play the game, you start by Helgen and and you are a prisoner. Uh, then Arvin comes around and destroys Helgen and you escape it. Escape the battle yeah, escape the the battle of Helgen being destroyed. Yeah. The only way to do that is by choosing one size, the Storm Cloaks or the Legion, usually based on the soldiers of the Civil War, two sides fighting against the other. So, yeah. Another thing, thing about this game was when you escape Helgen and, and you go to the first um, town, which is, which is actually Riverwood, you do a look at that there's a dragon that they, are, they have destroyed Helgen and they tell you to go to Whitewood, the first kingdom um, of Tenriel. Tell the the Yarl was actually the king to about the dragons, and and then tell you and then you tell you go on your first major quest into a dungeon to seek a dragon tablet by the Fort Wizard. So, and then you just like uh, first time you even go that's actually pretty easy. You you, you pretty sure to beat the game, play the game a lot, and be a number time. Um, so, yeah. The thing about Alderwin is you, you fight him twice. Right? And this boss, this is a, this boss dragon that's really quite tough. Tough and so. I don't think you want to fight him in a low level, you want to fight him in a high level. Yes. Um, now this game is based on a low system. Where tons of skills that you can love up, up, and the only way to love up your tether is to love up your skills. Skills, and you start these skills and and when them older, so when them levels, levels, and then try to level them up to the max level, which is actually level one hundred. Once you see yeah, once you reach the level 100. Okay. Now, this has been updated by the special edition where you can actually choose a max skill to maximize. Uh, maximize. To maximize the, the, your skill, you promote it, but you put it as a upgrade version of it. And and you get your skill points back. Uh, each level you get a skill point, and, and each level you get, you get the choice to boost up your health, mana, or your stamina uh, by 10. And, and you get one skill point uh, every level you gain. And, and you use that skill point by what skill you want to unlock from a hook. And each hook is different from, from each skill. So yeah. Now, before these two um, additions came by, I, the max level was 81. No, yeah. The max level was 81 for the first uh, update of the Skyrim. Now that the special edition and anniversary edition came, came well, mainly the special edition, the max level hit to 275. Alright, that's a big upgrade actually. And then 
It's still the same, it's still the same level for the anniversary with it. It's merely changed when what the edition came out. Now when you can play it for your next gen, your next gen consoles. So, and then when the special edition came out, you were able to play all three DLCs for free. Dragonborn, Dawn Dog, and Hawk Fire. Fire. Later down the line, line, um, like before the special edition came out, there were mods. There was actually Skyrim mods that you were able to play on, on the PC, not on, like on the computer, not on the consoles. So that was it shouldn't be a lot of people or because you can play it the game modded on the computer and make it look at really good or hilarious which is actually funny. And it was kind of amusing to a lot of people like if they wanted to you want to play more on it on the computer than on the console. So, whatever. And, and these, these uh, mods were based on the creators of the mod leader and stuff. So they, they create their own mods to make, make the game a little better. So, it wasn't until the special edition. A couple, like, it looks like a year or two. Two, they decided for mods, uh, for consoles. So, and then that, and then we also got the Creation Club. Creation Club isn't a bad either. Pretty good, and these are. So, yeah. Uh, and then what else? Oh. The last one, okay, the last one that we got from Pest Quest was actually the was the anniversary edition. So the anniversary edition, you you have to buy it. So you you need to buy the upgrade to establish the anniversary edition. So the update is free, free but you don't get one. Special update from it, maybe two. Two, I'm not, I'm not sure, but the main part is survival mode. Survival mode is to survive on your own. No, there's no fast travel. Yes, there is fast travel in this game, but there's no fast travel in survival mode. So you're all on your own. There's a heat kiss. There's a heat. System, there's a food system. system. Then there's a uh, health system. Yeah, there's a mana and stamina. Uh, if you over capacity, you're walking too slow. If you too, if you're cold, freezing to death, and you lose a lot of health. You are too hot, hot, um, you're on fire, and I think your stamina goes down. Now, you want to stay in the whole area being all equal. And that was kind of hard, especially the fa no fast travel, actually. No fast travel, that was, that was very hard. Hard. If you're following the main quest line. Right? The highest point of Skyrim is the source of the world. So, that force is not going to ever. You're climbing 6,000 steps to high rocks off for the greater bit of our living. 6,000 steps. You must climb that four times. Four times you climb the 6,000 steps. I walked off. 
That's a lot of steps. Yeah. And you climb that mountain twice. To the fullest of the world, to meet Hawkmax and to fight all the way. So, you think so? I know it's actually, it's actually uh, easy. No, it's impossible. It's very hard. That was actually the pace of that. Uh, it, and then let's see, it's kind of real. All right, let me talk about the the three DLCs. All right. So the first one was Dawn Guard. Guard. Okay. Dawn Guard. At level 10, and when you get to hit level 10, you gain access to the, to the Dawn Guard quest line. This is the story of the vampires and the werewolves. There are two skill trees between vampires. And the werewolves. Werewolves. If you now you have a choice to choose one of them. You you want to join the Dawn Guard or do you want to join the vampires? Vampires. If you join one of them, and it's the same path actually, your job is to take down the vampire kick the vampire lord. The, um then you fight him, no matter what side you join, if you fight, if you join the vampires, you do fight the, the vampire role after all. But, but your enemy is the Dawn Guard. If you join the Dawn Guard, you still fight the, the vampire role at the end. But your enemy are the vampires. Either. So, whatever side you join, it's still the same. I mean, and the reason why is because uh, the, vamp the vampire princess has the other four. I think she has a blood one. Um, and you have to collect the other two the other souls to understand how to defeat um, the vampire world. So I'm not sure why this is in in this in this story, but it's kind of real. Yeah. Especially you need a bow to actually fight him. And and to see that bow, you need to fight the snow elves, right? The snow elves actually. And dark four caves. But that's the way how it works. Oh. And then the next one is Hawkfire. Hawkfire is actually the uh, quite easy. It's a, it's actually a mini DLC because it's pretty um, short. What it unlocks is allows you to build your own house outside of the kingdom. In Hawkfire, there are four new houses you can build. Outside of Tamriel. Oh, there's each one is different actually. So, but the building you have to build them on your own. You have gathered the the supplies to make them. And you can just buy the, the plot and it has all the furniture available with you. Hey, when you buy a house from a kingdom, the it comes with no furniture. You know, so you have to buy the furniture separate. Okay. So yeah. And I don't understand that. So you buy an expensive house house, you walk in it and there's no furniture in it. That's pretty weird. Yeah. Then you, go, then you go to the steward, which is actually the person that, that buys your house, and they put a furniture in it to, to what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Better, better work. In detail. 
Yeah, you just buy your own plot and then build it on your own. It's pretty expensive, actually. You could <laughs> building, on, building a house, um, like a mansion, is um, pretty expensive. Dragonborn. Dragonborn is um, a lot different. So, Dragonborn, you are the Dragonborn. You are the Dragonborn, actually. And if you didn't know, there's actually another Dragonborn. Oh. This Dragonborn is really mad at you. You, that you became the new Dragonborn of Dragonborn. Hell, and and he alerts you to come to his his world, uh, Morrowind, and he wants to fight. Like, hey, I'm the Dragonborn. Come to my world. I want to fight. The new, the old Dragonborn. His name is Mirak. Mirak is quite a beast. We are the master of, of the Dragonborn, while we are the apprentice of the, of the Dragonborn. When we enter Morrowind, we learn about Mirak and how he learned these new Dragon Shouts. Yeah, that's right. As a Dragonborn, you learn these Dragon Shouts as you go. In Morrowind, you learn these Dragon Shouts the new ones, and you become the master of the Dragon Ball. The ability to have stronger armor, to ride a dragon, to unleash a, um, a whirlwind against the enemies, and many more. Oh. Well, when it's actually a lot harder than Tamiya. Yeah. Uh, now, well, when, yeah, more when, you're supposed to love, you're supposed to be entering this area. Yeah, which is, uh, Star Guard. You're supposed to enter this area at level 30 or 25. And, why that? Because actually these enemies are much tougher than Tamriel, where Skyrim is. is. And yes, you can enter this, this uh, island, this giant island at, at a low level, but it's a bad idea to do that. Do that. So, you just really want to survive the island of Sutterheim and hope the best you don't die <laughs> by fighting these new enemies that are, I mean, it's like five times tougher than you, maybe ten times tougher than you. Well, it was this one, it, 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 it's time hard. So, yeah. And I think you guys should pretty much this. I don't want to spoil it too much based on this game. Now, let's talk about the end goal for the last five minutes. So, the. First of all. Oh. The Racing Club. The Racing Club is a. is a mod. Pack based on mods. They have tons of mods that you can actually get. Now these mods are actually payable. You must buy them to install these mods to the game. You can buy them anywhere you want. <laughs> on Twitter and the console. So and they be they be been deleting a lot of free mods, Bethesda have been doing a lot of free mods 
they want they want us to buy the mod and this is the uh, the is losing a lot of money and this sort of thing. Uh, we have still got the announcement for the next Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls 6. Actually, we're not sure what the name is at all. And I kind of, uh, I don't like the, the way I, I don't want to say it is, I don't like that. Yeah. Um, Yes, a lot of people will do that uh, if they want some good uh, mods in the game. The integrated club, the yeah, integration club, you don't lose your progress and trophies and achievements. That's a way of not getting to it in the conference. And if you're a trophy hunter or a achievement hunter, you should complete it. Uh, a standard long vanilla, yeah, vanilla dragon. Yeah. Once you are done with that, then you can actually uh, go ahead and do it as a modded thing. Yeah. And, and then that will happen. Yeah. Because once you, once you download your first mod, all the achievements and trophies are locked. You can't touch them anymore until you start a new save slot. And uh, uninstall the mods. Those are from the regular people that have to be using the mods. From the racing club, they don't lock it. Uh, they, they just leave the and you can play it on your own. Yeah. We do have a couple of walls in that setting, but it's all anything you can just use all for as well. And special and anniversary edition. Anniversary edition is kind of interesting to do because if you do buy it, you get um you can get nine new houses that you can buy all get by doing quests uh, outside of the kingdom to be around the scenario. Oh, and I don't think you can get a house in 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 the dragonborn one. But the hunt I'm not sure about that one. But uh you told me that's kinda weird. Kind of neat. And I we like to have it in these things. Oh, so there you go. Oh, there's your, there's your way of subscribing. Yeah. Now you should actually check out this game and go ahead and play it for yourself. Yeah. So it's actually a lot of fun. Yeah. This game is uh, amazing and and so I think it's actually the, the game of the year for 2011. Best game ever I ever played for, and I did get it when the game did came out. So I'm quite happy that I chose the right thing about getting the game early. And I've been playing it for a long time. Fine. Today you are still play it too. So there you go. So there you have it about Skyrim, maybe so. The next topic I'm going to do is RuneScape. So I think it's going to be about um, RuneScape 3 and I'll see RuneScape. We'll see. Okay. And that uh, includes the end of my video. So I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. So that you have to comment, like, and subscribe, join the ratings, if you follow me on all my social media accounts, and you better hit that subscribe button and do so. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.